YouTube viewers, Rectangular back again, this time with a review of the Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon movie figure for Gen Yu with sword and fabric sheath. So I'm um, not a gigantic fan of the movie, um, but I do love uh, martial arts and figures that um, can be used with uh, martial arts characters, so that's the reason that I got this. Um, just wanted to show the outside of the package real quick. Um, got a good deal on it because the package, um, the glue apparently starting to separate. Um, these figures came out just after the movie, so um, I think it was in, uh, I want to say 2004. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm just going to flip the package around so you can see the back real quick and then we'll get her opened up. So there we have the back of the package. You've got a photo from the movie or all the uh, actors from the movie and then you have um, corresponding photos of the figures that um, uh, go with this line. Um, the figure I'm going to be showing is uh, Jen Yu here, and uh, don't know the name of the actress, but uh, this is the actress who plays her in the movie. And um, the main reason I got it um, was for the uh, the diorama. Each character comes with a nice little um, diorama piece, and um, this one's probably the largest of the four um, characters the largest diorama of, that is included with these four characters. Okay, so let's go ahead and get her out of the package. Okay, I just wanted to quickly show the instructions that come with the figure. And I forgot to mention that uh, this figure was made by Art Asylum, who were um, purchased by Diamond Select. So these are very similar to Diamond Select figures, um, or um, as many of my viewers probably are familiar with is uh, Marvel Select. Um, these are a little bit closer to 6 inch scale than um, Marvel Select tend to be uh, to 7 inch scale figures. Um, so anyway, these are pretty um, good instructions. Looks like there's six steps. Um, instructions are to put the base together. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, no tools required. And on the back just shows you um, other figures that they made, um, mostly movie figures. Before we get into the uh, figure out of the package, I wanted to show off the base that comes with the figure. Um, this is the main reason that I purchased uh, the figure itself. Um, it has this uh, Really awesome base. It's um, kind of like a entryway to a courtyard. Um, it comes in. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think six, six different pieces. Um, nothing really that spectacular about it. Um, from the front it looks the best from the side um, there's not anything covering the uh, back pillars which is uh, unfortunate um, and you know nothing all that great from the back now um, I did have some issues with mine I don't know how common this was or if uh, the seller on Amazon uh, was trying to kind of pull a fast one, but um, this is how you connect the uh, inner portion um, together, how you connect the, the two pieces uh, together. It's got these two holes and a slot that this uh, cross piece um, attaches to each side. Um, and for some reason I got two um, identical ones so um, I had to cut 
holes and a slot um, on the opposite side of this piece here so that I could uh, connect everything together. Um, that was not exactly fun. Um, so don't know if that was a common um, manufacturing mistake uh, where they um, just put two of the same piece in the package because it was sealed um, but you know somebody I guess could have carefully opened it and resealed it um, so that was a little odd I'm gonna try to get a second one of these and uh, It'll be interesting to see if I run into the same issue. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the figure now. Alright, so here we have Gen Yu out of the package. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that her little skirt here is warped. And that is because in the box they have her in a um, like a kicking pose. She's in the box like this. So, unfortunately this is a really, it's it, kind of a double-edged sword. This is a really nice uh, soft rubber material. Um, so it doesn't hinder the articulation, but unfortunately um, when you have a, po a figure in a package for an extended period of time, um, things like this tend to get stuck in one position. So, Hopefully I can heat it up and see if I can get it to relax a little bit, but um, yeah, since I just took it out of the package, um, kind of stuck with it like the way it is right now. So anyway, there um, isn't a whole lot of articulation or paint detail to these figures. Like I said, it's more um, similar to Marvel Select um, in articulation and size. Um, it is a, kind of a dark blue with a black wash, it appears to be. And so there is some, uh, some paint detailing. You can see it's a little bit lighter in some areas of her uh, costume. I don't know if I can get it up close. But it's not just a solid black, which is nice. Um, a little bit kind of similar to the uh, Toy Biz... Um, Black Panther figure uh, where he's got like different shades of uh, blue and um, purple in him but uh, this is pretty much just purple and black um, and the paint detail on the skirt is really nice um, I have to pull it down so that you can see it um, but uh, it's a really nice uh, um, Asian uh, characters or symbols there Really nice cross there in the middle, and pretty plain on the back. Uh, it does have like a paint pink um, trim around her um, wrists and her waist, and the trim of her uh, um, costume up here. The mask does not um, move; it's molded on there. It's a hard plastic, um, similar to the rest of her. Body. Only these are a little bit flexible. Um, they're not rubber. They're uh, just a more thin, thinner, uh, pliable plastic. And pretty nice uh, detail on the hair. It's uh, you know her hair braided, um, so it's not a complete mask. It's just a uh, headband and a face mask. Um, and pretty nice uh, detail on the eyes there. Um, just a nice sculpt overall. Um, the head is on a neck. I guess we'll go ahead and get into the articulation. The head uh, and neck are molded in, in, as one, and the neck is pretty much just like on a ball. Um, I don't think it's not a ball peg. Um, I think it's just a uh, just a, a um, ball joint um, that goes right into the body um, so she can look all the way around and um, can look up just slightly and down just a little bit the mask um, look she could probably look down a little further if the mask wasn't in the way because um, it is hard plastic like I said 
um, her arms um, they are pretty much on a somewhat of a uh, ball joint um, they go all the way around and in and out just they go a little bit higher up than they come down they just for some reason don't, I don't know why if it's just molded um, odd and just does not she doesn't she cannot get her arm all the way to her side um, this was the same way on the left arm and um, there's no uh, no bicep swivel and no Hasbro joint I was expecting it to have like a Hasbro joint uh, which would have been nice but uh, pretty much just uh, one point of articulation there at the elbow just a single joint at the elbow um, so she's pretty stiff uh, the hands do rotate and they are removable um, they just pop right off and uh, she comes with um, a couple of different hands which I'll show here in a minute um, you know same articulation on this side um, I'd put the uh, sword holding hand on her so I can show you what she looks like with a sword um, the legs are on looks like a um, a Y joint um, kind of similar to uh, reminds me of uh, the old GI Joes uh, I don't think that they've changed the articulation on Joes since then but um, yeah it looks like it just goes straight across and there's no uh, calf um, calf split here so that uh, she pretty much just goes all the way up which is pretty nice she can, you can get her in a pretty nice high kick but um, you know she can only go straight up because um, there's no there's no articulation to turn it sideways um, single jointed knee which they did allow for enough articulation so that it can go um, pretty much 90 degrees um, but uh, and she does have a um, calf swivel which is nice and this is uh, rubber material um, so you could lift that up and see that she's got you know skinny little ankles there um, the one thing that's nice is that she's got a ball peg for her feet um, really wish that Hasbro would do something like this this is really nice it's got a um, you know I'm sure if this was sculpted a little bit further back she could get even better more dramatic uh, articulation in the ankle here but it's so nice I mean I don't get me wrong I do like uh, when we do have uh, ankle rockers on uh, on uh, Marvel Legends but uh, um, this just seems so inexpensive and easy to do and it's really effective um, and obviously same thing on the other side um, so you can get her in a pretty decent um, sidekick um, and even have the foot rotated but the head articulation could be a little better for um, better dynamic poses like that uh, does not she does not have uh, foot pegs peg holes on her feet so um, wow I was wrong this is 2001 so these are pretty old figures so makes sense that the skirt is so warped and she does have a waist swivel um, and that's the only uh, ab articulation she's got is just the swivel alright so let me uh, put her sword or actually show you her sword before I put it in her hand and it's a pretty nice sword um, move her over to the side um, it's not too rubbery it's a pretty stiff plastic and um, nice coat of silver paint on it um, there's a little bit of a detail here Let me try to change the focus there we go and uh, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of detail in the hilt uh, there on the sword don't know it might be a head of a dragon uh, I think that's what it's supposed to be it looks like it's a dragon um, looking towards the sky and uh, same thing on the other side 
Although this looks like it's upside down on this one. Yeah, it does. Looks like the dragon's. It's either a dragon or a horse looking down on that side. And I guess it does on both sides. I guess it is looking down. Anyway, um, handles just basic black with a bit of gold paint at the bottom. And the paint does scrape off a little bit. Mine already scraped when I put it in her hand. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's pretty well placed in the package, so it doesn't. Uh, it's not too warped. Mine's pretty straight. Um, it is somewhat flexible, so um, you know when you store it, just make sure it's uh, flat. Otherwise, it could bend in one warped position. And it comes with this really nice uh, sheath, uh, which has a fabric um, strap, so she can, you can actually put it on her back. It's really nice. I really wish that uh, we get attention to detail like this on uh, on uh, Marvel Legends, because uh, you know this is not that expensive. This material, and it just slides really nicely in there, not too tight so that it won't uh, scrape the paint off. Um, and just goes pops on right like that and I'll go ahead and show it to you we'll, we'll put it on her back and then uh, so I'll just I'll show you what she looks like with it on her back and then take it off and stick it in her hand and like I said it does fit in there pretty snug so the paint will rub off eventually if you do this a lot um, and there she goes uh, that's what she looks like with the sword in her hand okay and speaking of hands let's show you what she also comes with um, for her left hand she comes with this hand that's got uh, two um, two fingers which um, I think in the movie they use to um, like actually block swords with um, don't know what uh, what kung fu style that is but it's pretty nice she does have a slightly different color on the uh, fingernails um, more of like a peach color. I don't know if you can see that. Um, pretty nice detail. You can see uh, the nails and the uh, little lines on the um, uh, knuckles, and um, you know the hand. The details on the back of the hand is pretty nice. And then for the right hand, um, it's just uh, kind of a, a karate chop. Um, type of hand that similar to the one she's got on right now and again really pretty nice detail you can see there's uh, again different color for the uh, for the fingernails and they do pop off and pop on really easily um, not too much force I would just wiggle it um, then I guess all the figures come with this uh, coin um, which is pretty cool uh, jade color or you know it's um, obviously plastic but it uh, says crouching tiger hidden dragon on it and it has uh, four Chinese characters and at the bottom it says uh, no desire without restraint and on the back it just has the um, symbol for art asylum um, which kinda looks like a like a dagger and uh, um, yeah, like a, I don't know, like a upside down dagger to represent the an A, I suppose. All right. So next we'll get into the uh, size comparison with a couple other figures. Okay, so as you can see, the little height comparison here. We have a Marvel Legend Hand Ninja next to the figure. Um, Hand Ninja is a little over five and a half inches tall and this figure is close to six and a half inches tall so 
Um, I was incorrect earlier uh, when I stated that uh, these figures were um, closer to Legend scale than Marvel Select. This would I would I would say that this um, Art Asylum figure is a lot more closer to Marvel Select scale, which is seven inch, which makes a lot of sense. Female characters are supposed to be smaller than their male counterparts, so it would make sense that she's uh, six and a half, um, where a uh, male character from the same line is probably going to be seven inch um, from Marvel Select. Okay, so just to illustrate my point a little bit further, I threw in the Marvel Select uh, Gunner Jensen Expendables 2 figure just to show that uh, Marvel Select are um, close to 7 inch scale for uh, male characters and uh, you can see he's about 3 quarters of an inch taller than um, Gen Yu here okay well hopefully you liked my video you click like you share subscribe and leave a comment below thanks for watching bye